I don't like it, are you? Instead, there's a seven for Yin. Second pair, kicker won't really matter. Advantage is uh, massively in his favour now. Ten of spades doesn't make a great deal of difference to either hand, though it does uh, confer all the all the advantage now to uh, Yin. Chewy, uh, even though he doesn't have an out, is about to bet it. 1600. That's his only win in the pot is to get Yin to the pull the hand. Well, I'm not sure he will in this situation. No, he's going to uh, probably continue. Well, I don't blame him. Now the pressure's on Chewy because he doesn't have a win and he's going to have to make the play again if he wants to win the pot. And pairs an eight on the board. You don't like that card because it'll make him obviously eights and sevens. And uh, he's saying to Chewy, I don't believe you for the eight. I don't believe you for the ten. So uh, let's see what Chewy wants to do. What's he going to do? He's going to let it go. Well, he, he's just what you think. He's going to wrap Pat and just show him. I think you're probably right. But uh, he's now gone. <laughs> now, <laughs> now he's gone to his stack and he's going to make the play. Or is he? Thirty-five hundred. He bets. It's the play, and now it's up to Yin. It's a tremendous bet. Yeah, it's a great play. I would have said he was capable of it an hour and a half ago, and then he lost the plot, and now he's got it straight back again, has he? He rises to the challenge, this lad does, doesn't he? Ian's reaching for the stack. Counts it out. Pushes it out. Mm -hmm. Cracking call, cracking play, but cracking call. And uh, the pot is going to go to Yin, and this could well turn the match. <laughs> this could be the point the match turns. And Yin takes the pot. Thank you. <laughs> yeah, great play And that's going to put Yin back into the lead. Yep, and uh, that might just give him the uh, impetus that he needs to, p to push home the advantage because it just seems that the advantage just goes to and fro, to and fro, and then the, uh, they just sit instead of pushing home the advantage. Neither of them want to push home the advantage, and uh, Chewie's probably ruining the fact that he didn't or ruining the fact that he didn't when he had the advantage shortly after the break, and he, uh, he just sat there, didn't he? Uh-oh. Ace Queen un in clubs. How's Yin going to play it? Chewy Yin, yeah, he just calls. He calls. Uh, it's a good play actually with that hand. It's uh, quite a powerful hand that's up. But uh, Chewy might be a bit suspicious, or he might. Uh, he, that's not his usual think, reaction. He's going well, all in. This, this is action now. This, Ace this Deuce. Will get called, yeah, I think uh, the whole match will end here because I can't see Yin letting this one go yeah. now. He's sitting. Thinking about it for a second, but I'm pretty sure that this... Well, he's picked him up like he's going to fall, but I don't think he is. I really don't think he's going to okay. fall this. Okay, okay he says, I'm he all says. in with you. And there we he go. stands and right up. up. And he's in great shape here. First the cards. It was going to take a big hand against uh, an even bigger hand, wasn't it? And after you know, after passing on so many all-ins, it's just strange to me. He would go oh, all-in uh, with an ace-deuce. Oh well, his whole match is in tonight and he's not in very good shape at all, but let's see. There's another mm. club out there. <laughs> the whole match is uh, drifting away from him now. He's, hand, he's looking at his watch and that's not going to help him. <laughs> Flush draw for Yin as well. Six of clubs. That isn't going to help him either, so... Uh, there's really very little to help him here, is there? Okay. It's a 10. 
and that's it. Oh, there and it Yin is. is through. I am out here on the casino floor with the tournament director of the PartyPoker.com World Heads Up Championship, Gerard Serra Retamero. Bringing the championship to this casino must really change the atmosphere here. Yes, it's for us it's an important evening because uh, it's totally different along the year than now has uh, one, the most of the best players over the world. How important is this to the city of Barcelona to turn it into a sort of gambling capital in Europe? Yes, for Barcelona it's very important and I think for the players they like uh, this casino because uh, we are trying to do our best and this year we repeat with the World Heads Up and it was full before to start. It means that we are making a good job in Casino Barcelona. Now we're into round four. Simon aces trumper, British professional, going up against his Swedish counterpart, Peter Gunnarsson, playing his first heads-up games in tournaments. And he's won three, including in the last round, taking the scalp of Mickey the Kid Wernick. I'm Mike Carlson, and Pete, Mickey the Kid is some scalp to take. It certainly is. Uh, certainly is. Well, just look at this hand. Jack seven for Simon. 22. Puts it up to 2200. He's on the button, making the play off the button, and uh, a six suited hearts in Peter's hand. He's on the big blind. So best hand, worst position, but uh, see how he plays it. He uh, calls. Couldn't resist it. Yeah, it's not bad play. Simon says you couldn't resist it. So he's still talking to him. Probably thinks he's going to talk him out of it. I don't think so. Nine, ten, deuce. Yep, middle pin draw, and eight would make Simon a straight. And running hearts would obviously help Peter, but at the moment it's just ace high, and that's in Peter's hand. Simon's not even trying to make a play at it. They check back and forth. There's a six. Pair of sixes now with Peter. Ace kicker, and Simon still with that middle pin draw. Goes very quiet when he's made the bet, doesn't he? Maybe that'll tell you something later on. Peter Gunnarsson taking a long look at Simon, going through the cards in his head. Yeah. He's come to the correct uh, conclusion, hasn't he? No problem. Four on the river, so the situation doesn't change. Any. Changed. But let's see what Simon wants to do now. He's uh, got zero percentage wise to win the pot if he checks it, and now he's got a, he's forced himself in a position where he's going to make a play at it to take the pot, and he's checked it. And Peter doesn't doesn't bet, but shows the sixes and will win the pot. Not a penny. Each player starts with 40,000 in chips, the blinds are 400 and 800, and we've added green 250 chips to the blue 100s and the red 1000s. So what's it going to be, 24 or pass? <coughs> we'll see. Pocket, Pocket threes. threes. Yep. We both call the Swede. together. 